Hello, this is Rad Rao, and I'm going to be doing a gotcha video for the game Crash Fever. This is, a, again, a fairly new game I don't know it very well, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of information um, on it. It seems to be... well, a lot of the information is in Japan or in, um, or in Chinese, I believe. Um, there aren't even that much even uh, that much information on tiers and who's good or who's bad, um, but there is currently right now the uh, special pitch up, uh, pick up on the uh, gacha machine. I, I did do it before and I was able to get the uh, Rapunzel, so I'm going to do it again. Just do a short video and see what I can get if I can get anything good or not. Let's see. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for at least maybe one or two more Rapunzel's. Um, okay, so I got something already. Uh, who did I get? Okay, so it is a five star, which, I mean, I'm happy about. I'm happy about getting a five star. Uh, um, oh, who is it? A Mala. So, it cures virus and massively boosts green unit attack for four turns. That's not bad. Um... And its C skill is, uh, deals highly effective damage to one yellow enemy, plus bo boost green units defense for two turns. I don't know how good that is, though. I mean, it seems like very specific for, you know, um, dungeons that have viruses or, um, have yellow enemies, um, particular, in particular. Um, otherwise, or it seems like it would be also good for a for all green team. That's fine. It doesn't look like I got Rapunzel, um, unfortunately. Um, Lucifugus? Lucifugus? Um, no idea if I know that. It has. It deals blue. High blue damage to one enemy, and recovers low HP, and medium damage to one enemy, effective against red units. Okay, well that was, is a blue unit. It seems to be, again, nothing in, nothing particularly special. We have here, we have, Kyoto Yugiri. Again, it's not. It can't even upgrade to a five star. So I'm, I'm almost assuming it's not going to be that good anyway. High damage to all enemies. That's not bad, and converts green panels to red. It seems like it would be useful in like really red team. Nothing. Again, nothing particularly good. Um, this probably better. Super rare. Another red. I thought this was the yellow green festival. Here I am getting reds. Uh, Crimson Reaper, Red Riding Hood. It is a four star max. It deals high damage when party is hit by enemy for five turns, and it is high damage for one enemy. Again, I, nothing, nothing much that I want from that. Okay, here we go. Finally, a a yellow unit. I should say thunder unit. Um, high damage to all enemies destroys all hard panels, dealing high damage to all enemies according to the number of panels destroyed. It can reach 5 star, which is good. Um, kind of fits into what I can do um, with Rapunzel. It does work with Rapunzel and it would be somewhat efficient, but... Anyway, now we've got... Kuri, 4 star maximum. Mm, it's a support unit, it seems, basically. Massively boost grenade attack for one turn greatly boost party's attack for one turn it just seems like a green focused unit because otherwise it just doesn't seem to do much of anything um, it's not very offensive it's more support oriented and buff oriented we have gamak for one turn adds one tap to your unit and greatly boosts attack okay and medium damage to one enemy and high damage to all enemies. Okay, that's a little strange. Um, 
I mean, turtle power, it seems to be somewhat useful. Although, mm, I don't know, it, like, it seems like against, I think it's Soho that is the one that has, um, adds one tap for all turns, or at least, like, for at least three or four turns. We have Agni. Uh, deals high red damage to one enemy and massively boosts own attack for the turns. Hmm, meh, it seems okay. Again, it seems nothing too spectacular. Especially on skills, anyway. So we have Peter Pan. Um, not Swashbucklers, Revere. Deals high damage to one enemy, recovering 10% of damage dealt as HP. That's not bad. I don't see this being... I mean, deals, deals recovering 10% of damage dealt as HP. I mean, he is offense type, so he probably could do a significant amount of damage. And medium damage to all enemies, and slightly boost screen attack for unit attack for one turn. Okay. Him, um, I see using. Uh, although not, not necessarily, I'm definitely on my green teams. But then I don't seem useful. Um, Bahamut. Uh, Loveless Hunter greatly boosts party's recovery for three turns. Converts blue panels to hearts and damages all enemies. That's actually not bad. And the sea skill medium damage to one enemy effective against humans. Bahamut seems like it would be... Like, she would be really good. Um, as a healer. Uh, particularly because of that. Wreck boost and blue panels to hearts. If you're using a non, if you don't have a blue character on your team, and it seems like Bahamut is like the perfect one to take advantage of those. So that's the yeah, that's our ten. So we're gonna go to the hatcher and just do a few. Which we can do two more. Wait, they changed it. Did they? Oh. Okay. Now I know what happened. I messed up, I think. I did this one. I wanted to go with that one. Oh, okay. Well. Either way. I'm just gonna skip the animation. Nothing we can do now. Really? Got just a rare? Azrael. Boost a deck of deities in party for three turns. And chance to infect virus. I am. Uh... Okay, so there we go. That's our final roll. We have Achilles. Achilles can get a 5 is a 4 star. Greatly boosts the enemy unit attack for the duration of 3 turns and increases skill gauge. And you have high damage to one enemy. The lower the HP, the more powerful the attack. Hmm, not bad. I think it definitely has potential of being somewhat good. Um, it's interesting. Um, But again, if you want to go to... It seems like there are better units fitting a lot of those roles than what's already out there. So anyway, that, that's it for me for today. I want to thank you for watching. I'm going to definitely be doing um, new and more stuff in the future. So, yeah. Thank